Today we're going to show you how to remove the textiles from the carry cot of a stock Explory. It's an older model of carry cot, but the principles are the same as with the newer models, as, uh, and the principles are also the same as with the bag that goes with the Cruzy and Trails models. So the textiles are generally attached around the side of the bag by these small plastic clips underneath, and you're going to need to pull out the textiles. See, it has little buttonholes from those clips wherever you feel them. We're going to start with the front end. And the uh, case here in the middle is just over like the corner lip. Here's another one of those little clips. And we're starting to pull it back, as you can see. There's another one here. When you have pulled it back enough, you can get to the clips that hold the um, frame of the canopy in place. It's two clips that go through holes on the inside here. And you just want to push them together and push it through. And we'll get to the other side and do that one as well. Okay, now we're going to remove this one. Now the canopy has separated. If you spin it around, you can unzip the rest of the canopy. And we'll deal with removing the plastic elements from that afterwards, but we'll finish with the carry cot first. Uh, there's of course actually the mattress, and you can just pull out the inside foam so that you can wash the uh, overlying uh, sheet from it. More of these little button clips. Okay, all the button clips have now been pulled off and you want to pull it back a bit such that you can see down inside where the carry straps attach. So there are these little um, metal pegs or axles here and you need to pop them out. You can use a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife or something. And you'll just pop it out and then you want to make sure not to lose these and there are I believe four of them total. strap through and move on. Then we'll do the last two of these pegs. Just prying it outwards and then pulling it through. There we go. Textiles have been removed from that. Okay, we're going to remove now the textiles from the canopy rib such that you could wash the textiles on the canopy as well. I wanted to just make a note that this is an older model, so this is one of the things that has changed. Uh, in this case, you need to depress a peg that's inside this little hole here in order to remove this canopy. But on the newer models, if you lift up the textiles on the side, the clip will actually be on the outside and you can just press it in with your finger and pull it out. If you want to see a visual demonstration of this, you can look at our video where we remove uh, textiles from a seat um, because that is the same principle. But in case anybody still has this older one, you want to push something inside this hole such that you can get the uh, little lip of that peg off of, uh, or out of this, and then you can pull it off like this. There's just this little catch. But again, it's a lot easier on the uh, newer models. And you could potentially remove the textiles so that you can wash the canopy. Uh, we're not going to show how to put it all back together. You're going to reverse the process in order to do that. But the key thing you're going to want to think about is that when you're threading the uh, handles, 
that you make sure to thread them and then press these little pegs back into place before you put the textiles on all of those little button clips and so on. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. In any case, we hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.